What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out did USAID defund coronavirus research in Wuhan, China? It's going to be an interesting one, let's see how it's going to unfold. Ms. Powers, uh, did USAID fund coronavirus research in Wuhan, China? We did not fund gain-of-function research, as you know. That's not the question. You know. The question is, did you fund coronavirus research in Wuhan, China? Before my time, there was the PREDICT program with which you're familiar, which ended in China in 2019. Now, this is a $200 million program, and the GAO has also identified that some of these grants went directly to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, where there is a suspicion that the lab leak began, that began the pandemic. Um, has USAID awarded funds to the Academy of Military Medical Sciences in China? I, not to my knowledge, but I'd have to get I think the answer is once again yes. GAO has found that there have been sub-awards. One thing I notice about this Congress hearings, nobody says yes. Nobody ever says yes or no. So NIH money is probably as well as USAID money that went to the Academy of not just medical research, military medical research in China. Hmm. Now, part of the unknowns here is we can't get the records to look at this. So I've been asking for months and months for records. In September of last year, I wrote Ms. Powers, the USAID, a request asking for records from the PREDICT program. These are not classified. These are simply records of scientific research. And we want to read the grants to find out what they were doing and whether the research was dangerous or not. Um, the response I got from your agency was, USAID will not be providing any documents at this time. They're just unwilling to give documents on scientific grant proposal. We're paying for it. They're asking for $745 million more in money, and we get no response. So two weeks ago, the ranking member, uh, Rish, myself, and 25 other Republican senators, unfortunately, so far, signed a letter once again. They've, it's still no response. We're not asking for classified information. We're not asking for anything unusual. Um, 20 million people died around the world. You're supposed to be an agency that cares about the death of people around the world. We you know, talk about starvation and famine, and 20 million people died from a virus, and you won't give us the basic information about what grants you're funding around the world and who you're funding. Should we be funding the Academy of Military Medical Research in China? Mm -hmm. They're now off limits. But did we fund them? And who was making the decision? You know who ran the PREDICT program? UC Davis. Have you had any conversations with UC Davis about research in China and whether it was advisable? So again, to set the record straight, first of all, the PREDICT program ended in 2019. Um, we have people... And yet it goes on in other forums and other names. That, that's certainly well, not USAID program. Well, you have, go, you have go, a program go, called or, Emergency Pandemic Threats Program still, don't you? If I could just, just finish in response to the first set of allegations, um, we have provided hundreds and hundreds of pages of documents related to the PREDICT program for the very reason that you say, because we are in Not to us. We are, again, as I know you had an exchange with Secretary Blinken as well, consistent with longstanding practice. Not going we to give them to us. responsive to the committees of jurisdiction. Not going to, you've been consistent in not giving us any That's information. That's not true. But what we, you're we've saying provided is hundreds of pages in response to, to the who? current ranking to, to the Senate, Homeland Security, and Government Affairs Committee, for example. We've had extensive We've been requesting this and gotten this none of it. I'm on that committee as well. The thing is, is what we get from you and from the State Department at large is that if Senator Menendez signs it, you'll give us documents. Until then, you'll give us nothing. And we have gotten nothing, zero. You said we'll not be providing <laughs> She any said documents. hundreds. I now have 25 senators have sent you a letter and you aren't responding. Well, and we don't, we, respond. want, we want to see the scientific grants. We give you the money, the taxpayers give you the money. We deserve to know where the money went, whether it happened. Look, you're right, it, ha it ended in 2019. When did the virus come about? In about 2019. Some of the research proposals that came about in 2018 were Wuhan Institute of Virology asking for money to create a virus with a furin cleavage site in it, a coronavirus, a SARS-like virus with a furin, furin cleavage site. That's hmm. exactly what COVID turned out to be. They wanted money to create such a virus. So we want to know, are there other research proposals that you either granted or denied that were on the same veins of creating viruses that could have become COVID-19? We can't tell because you won't give us the information. 
Again, we, we consistent with longstanding practice. We are providing extensive documentation. We have a whole That's team of people not who do true. nothing other That's than look back and true. predict. That is not it true. It is factually accurate. That is it not is. true. Everything we have asked, we have not gotten. I have not seen one document on the PREDICT program. I understand that, again, consistent with common practice consistent across Consistent you're not going to give it to any senator. No, no, no. We're that. providing... Uh, all of the kinds of documentation that you're <laughs> you describing. You are not. You're we being are. dishonest. We, you're being no, dishonest. I'm not. I'm we haven't gotten not. one scrap of paper from He said he's in the you same committee. Again, with paper. the committees of jurisdiction, we are providing all of the paperwork that you are not. requested by the I'm committee. Maybe he's not getting to the committee. Could be somebody else. The other Rank. committee. I'm the ranking member on well, the other committee, and I haven't seen a scrap of paper from that committee either. Well, that is... I, that, See, here's what I, the American people... I can tell you people, what has happened. The Actually, people, I can't tell you what happens at the committee. The American people think this that because you won't respond, and because you respond with a non-response, that you have something to hide. I don't know if you have anything to hide or not. I want to see every grant proposal that had to do with coronaviruses that went to China from the U.S. government, from all facets of the U.S. government, and every bit of the Biden administration is stonewalling us and will not give us the information. It makes us think and makes us suspicious that you're hiding something. And it wasn't even you. This was the previous administration. We go back two or three administrations. We just want to see the information. And yet you sit there and you say we will do something. We are doing something, which is do absolutely it. the opposite of the truth. You are not being honest. <laughs> But that's quite weird. Why would anybody want to create a SARS-like virus and call it Corona? Why would anybody want to fund such a research? I'm not saying this is true because, you know, I don't know. But why would anybody want to do that? It's basically a weapon and see what 20 million lives and they're talking about the documentation. 20 million lives were lost and they are here talking about the documentation, the paper. Somebody should have been held accountable a while ago. Like, this is recent, April 26, 2023. This is very recent. So after three years, this is now when we're talking about this documentation and all these papers. This, anyways, I, I don't know. It's just heartbreaking, the things we, we see in this world. And also, why would anybody want to make a virus like that? Why would anybody want to fund that? Like, what's the importance of even funding that or creating that? I don't know if it's true, but if it is true, it's just crazy. It's outrageous. It's just, I don't know. I can't even think about it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this one. We've heard from Rand Paul and Samantha Power. Let, let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm still caught up in my mind. I'm just trying to figure out why that would happen in the first place. But share with me. That being said, it's the end of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.